Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Rise of the Planet of the Chips, and today we are starting with Think Tank, and this is a level we have to talk about a little bit before we start it. Very early on in this series, I was tipped off about this level. I was told to watch out for something at the end of it, and that made me a little bit curious, and so I did something that I have not done with any other level to this point. I did a little bit of research beforehand before I played it and I am very glad I did that because there is something at the end of this level and we'll talk about it when we get there but there's something at the end of this level that if I had had to discover it for myself let's just say what's the word I want to use I would have been somewhat miffed to have to find out about this while solving the level in real time. So I'm glad to be armed with a little bit of foreknowledge in this case. And like I said, we'll talk about it when we get there. But for now, there's good, honest puzzle solving to be done. I didn't look up the whole level, just this one bit. So we're going to go through now and solve the think tank. All right, we have keys to collect. All right, and what awaits us on the other side? Okay, there's bombs over there. Looks like I don't want to go on these outside corridors right now. Okay. Which one of these do I want to pop open? Does it matter? Well, I can't see what's on the other side. That's kind of a problem I have with this game sometimes. You don't have all the visual information you need. And that... I like games where you can see the whole level at once. That's kind of something Chip's Challenge has up its sleeve as a sort of dirty trick. Is you can't see everything all at once. And they sometimes use that to a somewhat nasty advantage. I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh, there are blue keys everywhere. Hmm, okay. Let's go ahead and see what's over. Let's see what's over here. Because I can't see what's over here, I can see the whole bomb situation happening over here. Wait, which one did I not want to go down? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, if I go down that second way, that's death. How about if I go... Okay, if I go around the way here, well, if I go around the way here, I can get the rest of the other keys. That's good. And there are no chips in this level. This is just pure puzzle solving. I do appreciate levels like that. I will tell you that. Is this a mistake? Uh, this might be a mistake. Let's hold on. Let's see. Let, well, let's clear all these out for now. Let's see what happens. What happens when I go over here? Ah, some blocks. That should help me with the bomb situation. Maybe, mayhap. Okay, so if I'm on this close end right here. Well, I need that green. I bet I'm going to need that green key. Yeah, I see a green door down there. Like, out of the corner of my eye. I see I'm going to need this green key. So maybe I should go back around real quick. So if I want to navigate these corridors, I have a feeling I don't want to move these tanks around very much. I'm going to try to move these tanks as little as possible for the time being. All right, I'm going to push that around there. Okay, it's not bouncing back at me. That's good. That's a good sign generally. Okay, let's go around and get the green key. All right, so... Yeah, a lot of going around and around and around. Sometimes it's spinning around. Sometimes it's walking around. Okay, we have a green key. There is that at least. So, what does that do for us here? Maybe it is time to destroy the tanks. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, all right. And now, oh, we've got a situation, okay. Tanks, ahoy. Okay, what's happening? Oh no, that's really bad. Uh, yeah, I probably don't want to, probably don't want to set off all the, oh man. Okay, I might have to use that button up there too. How many, how many keys would I be allowed? Okay, so if they all come back over here. Okay, some of them are settling back into a spot. Which, which, okay, which lane do I need to go down to? I need to go down the far lane. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of these, some of these I don't want to crack open, probably. So... Whoa, 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 not just yet, not just yet. I'm still kind of, still kind of figuring out what I want to do here. I have three key, I have three red keys. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I needed that green key, so I needed to use one of the red keys. But if I use a second... Okay, if I use... Okay, hold on just a second. Come over here. I need three red keys. So yeah, I need to not open one of those tank button doors. I only need to use one because I only have three... Ooh, I know I only have three red keys. And I need at least one to get this. Okay, I think I do have to move the tanks at least a little. So, oh man, even this first part is hard to sort out. So yeah, if I push a block to here and bomb this, this is kind of an extra one. This is kind of a trap deal. Because if you bomb this, you think you need four keys to get through here, but really only three are necessary. So I have to somehow do this without opening a whole can of worms right here. Okay, so... Bummer. Wow, that was really stupid. All that puzzle solving and... Okay, oh my gosh. Alright, so... Let's get it started. Okay, first, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need all of these blue keys. Blue keys are good. They're delicious. They're so delicious, even other enemies like them. So we don't want those tanks eating those things. So what do we not have to clear out here? I need that green key, so I'm fairly certain I'm going to be needing to go clean this out. So we want to go for th this. All right, yeah, we want to go for this. And then we want to go around the way and clean this up. So that gets that block going around there and I get the green key. Well that was solved much faster than last time and I think I can do this even with a minimum of more... I don't even have to clear out those blocks over there. We're gonna we're gonna minimize the amount of tank moving we have to do for now. So if I go around Okay, so if I clear these out. Huh. Alright. Let's go around. Let's get these cleaned up. Let's walk around the curved way here. Okay, this might be where a problem starts to come in. Okay, so if I go around here... Okay. I need these tanks to just... So I do kind of need everything going all at once here. Where was the block I needed? It was on the far end. I'm gonna go ahead and... Go ahead and get over here. And I'm gonna push it upward. I no wrong way, wrong one, wrong lane. We need the we need the high occupancy vehicle lane. I think maybe bring this around here, and then I can push. Where can I push it to? Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in a place for now. I'm gonna leave it in what I presume might be a safe spot. This is taking a long time to work out. I'm gonna have to get this all memorized if I want to beat this, I think. But I'm going to have to go ahead and come around here and get... It is time to clear these out. Okay, okay, so I can clear everything out, and I do need to. It's just maybe there's an order to it. Oh, wait, just a second. Oh, I can just clear it out from right here. I was like, wait a minute. Did I mess something up? Okay, now it's time to push the button, I think. Remember that little blue button I told you never to push? Push the little blue button. Okay, so now... Okay, that's going to bring those guys over here. So now, now I just have to worry about not getting crushed by a tank at any point. Oh, no, they're all over here. Okay, yeah, so that means I can bring this. Which, okay, which lane do I want? I want to push it down around. I want to go to the outer lane with this. 
Okay. Go there. Make sure it doesn't come back on me real quick. And then push him again. Alright, they all come back into focus now. And I can do the... Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, that took a long time to get through. Hopefully I can remember all that. Okay, this red teleporter right here. This is what we need to remember about. This is the important factor that I will tell you about later. Hopefully I can pull off what you're supposed to pull off with it. Uh, minor spoiler alert, but remember that red teleporter. Okay, so what's next? Okay, we got some yellow keys here. And my green key is permanent, so... Alright, where do I need to go with things? Okay, I see a bomb. Definitely need to clear out that. Okay, and then yellow door time. Okay. And then another bomb clear out. Here we go. Okay, moving right along. I don't think... I think I'm going to run out of time before I... Okay, what's going on now? Lots of blue blocks. One dirt block that I saw. One green block. So what's going on now? Okay. Let's, oh, hey. Lots of... Lots of fake ones. Also lots of real ones. Okay. What's going on here? Alright. That's quite a lot of oofing you're doing there, Chip. Okay. Okay. There's one bomb here. There's one block. So I'm going to have to get this block around. That block that I saw down the way... I think I'm going to have to get that around to here somehow. Okay, so it's my job basically to figure out which blue blocks are fakes. Okay, which blue blocks are fakes? That's basically the name of the game here. So I got to figure out a way through here. Okay. We got something going here. Well, this is a fairly... Okay, it's a fairly agreeable path to sort out, it looks like. Um, but I think we'll have to inspect all of them. Yeah, okay, alright, yeah, that's making some sense so far. Okay. Alright, uh-huh, alright. Interesting, okay, so yeah, I, mean, I am going to run out of time, so I need to do that one bit a lot faster. But I know it can be done with minimal tank movement, Bummer. so that is a good thing. Okay, yeah, that first part is a lot easier once you know how. So, now it's just finding all of the fake ones. So, there are fake paths through here, pretty much all the way down. Yeah, okay. Alright, all the way down through there. And then around here, okay, there are two paths. There are paths for me to push the block, and there are paths for me to walk, essentially. Looks like. So, let's get moving around. Okay, yeah, that's not a thing. That This was a thing, though. That's a lot of unnecessary oofing you're doing there, Chuck, my pal. So... You know, if they're invisible, you don't have to oof into them. You can just, uh, you can just know that they're there. Okay, maybe some of these? Yeah, okay, some of this is good times. Oh, hey, oh, wow. Okay, wow, that's a lot. So, and then down and around through here. How about all the rest of, okay. Presumably all around this block is, okay, all right. All right, so taking into account, let's go ahead and, well, hold on. Maybe one more there. No, that's also fake. Okay, so let's go ahead and now, you can't push blocks through these fake green ones, so let's go ahead. What was that? Oh, it was probably on top of a blue invisible one. Okay, so let's try to find the path around here. All right. Okay, yeah, and then I push it up through this. All right, let's get it moving. Let's start the transport. Begin transportation of block. Okay, now that I've made a nice little path for myself. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, this part, this part is easy. So, looks like I just gotta get it going around. 
this is fine, right? Yes, okay, good. This. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it, I see it. Okay, so now I go through here. All right, nothing up here is okay. And then I take this to the bottom path so I can come around the top of it. Might as well make all these gray for the sake of uniformity. And here we go. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. What I'm about to do is something that is not explained in the game at all, anywhere, anytime, at all, for any reason. We're going to go back to the red teleporter. I'm going to take a walk back to the red teleporter, and I'm going to tell you about it while I'm walking. With the red teleporter, there is apparently a trick where you can manipulate the direction you come out of it if you are... Okay, where... Can I get back? Oh, yeah, this would take a whole trip. Okay. So, let's see if I can afford the time for the trip. Maybe I can. Uh, no, I would have to basically... Okay, this might this might be a bit of a crunch, but I'm going to try to get back around to... Okay, yeah. I think this will take me back to the teleporter. We're going to go look at that red teleporter, because there is a patch of fire underneath it. There is a very nasty patch of fire... And if we go down into the teleporter, it will launch us directly into the fire. But apparently there is a mechanism whereby if you push a key at the same time as you enter a red teleporter, you can manipulate the direction that you come out of the red teleporter. This is a nasty trick and it is not ever explained anywhere, anytime, and I don't know how frame perfect it is. So we are going to give it a shot right now. Bummer. Nope, it did not work. Yeah, see, that's what happens. You go into the... That's what happens normally. You go into the teleporter, and then you just walk right into some fire. That... <laughs> to say the least, is, uh... <laughs> uh not the very nice. And here's the double fun part. Let's say you do know the frame-perfect trick that they never explained to you. Even if you know it, if you mess up the frame-perfect trick that they never explained to you... Then you have to do the whole level all over again. <laughs> like <Okay>. right now. <laughs> I'm full of joy. I did it. Okay, there it is. You, I kind of just hammered on the thing as soon as I went in the teleporter. But yes, that works. And that is how I found that you do that without walking into the fire. That... I'm glad I knew about that beforehand. This is going to be the only level we do today. I'm glad I knew about that beforehand. Um, that, that is, uh, that is, uh, that is not great. I have so many things I want to say about that. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going through things I want to say about this in my mind. And I'm discarding a lot of them out of hand because they're just, mean <laughs> i'm just tossing the mean things i want to say about this right out of hand and i'm gonna try to find uh, a nice one to say which is what, what is the nicest thing i can think to say about this about this red teleporter bit the nicest thing i can think of to say about this red teleporter bit is that joshua bone i love you and I'm glad you've been watching this, and I'm sure you're a good person, but you are not going to the good place when you die.